Yes, sir. Nine of them. You need one of these to fall, Nick. Some legs on that young fella. Uh. He's tied with Christopher Verdell if he can't get this one to fall. Uh. Nice showing by the young fella. But I feel in fear for everyone who did not outscore Christopher Verdell on that first round. That they'll be in contention to shoot it out. But we have another great shooter right here, Mr. Argentina himself, Brian Savoy. Let's see if he's been in the gym lately. As a pro, he was one of the best shooters as well. When well, he came up one off the first rack. Gets that one fall, that's two. Three of them. Four. Oh, he needed that one. <laughs> Someone's calling for him to shoot it off the glass. Seven of them. Yes, sir, Mr. Argentina. Now, he can definitely pull out from range, so he might get one to fall for sure. Make me a profit, dude. Oh, he had to rush. He finishes with it. Good showing, but I'm not sure if that's good enough. I believe we have a repeat. Team Nashitel, Nate Kasango, who will start it off. Where's Christopher Very Dell? Everyone's looking for Chris. Those two have got to shoot it out here today to see who's the best in the house. Chris knows he didn't even shoot his best performance the first round. I feel like he can go for it. 13 easily. That's just at a bare minimum because he catches on fire. Can even get up to 16 out of 21 for points. Put the veteran move on him. It's kind of better for Kasango. I would have made him chill out a little bit. Because he's kind of still warm as he just shot recently. Nice looking shot by the young fella. He's got to get something going. He's going to have to catch on fire right now. Oh, some big buckets right there. He had a good rack last time on this one. Coming up short right now. Needed that one to fall. He's got to get one if he's going to have a chance against Verydell. I'll tell you that right now. There's one of them. Need this one too. Uh, comes up short. He comes with eight. I don't think that's going to get it done against the sniper, Very Dow. That was just a warm-up round for him. He lined to catch on fire and burn down the building. Here we go. Very Dow up. That's one. Couldn't get it to fall. Uh-oh. 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 He's got four. He's definitely halfway to his target. Six. Let's see if you get I, I predict 13. He might beat that. Let's go, Vidal. Nine. There we go. Ten. Shooting that thing. 
Yeah. The crowd into it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Kenny Nell from downtown. Come on, we need DC. Make it count. Keep the crowd energized. There we go. One more, baby. At the buzzer. Uh, nice bullet. He got 15 out of that one. Great performance by Christopher Berry Dell. Knew he was capable of getting 16. He delivers. He beat my projection of 13. He gets 15. And he is your best shooter amongst the Swiss 3x3 Tour this season. We got some prizes and gifts being handed out. We have snipes and other awards being given out. Christopher Veridell is your two-point shootout winner. He's got a little self-promotion going on. I'm not sure if you guys could quite hear that. That was Christopher Veridell. After being a pro player, he also has just published a book called Win the Day that he's just promoted, if you guys weren't able to hear. But you can find on his website or on his Instagram account, Swiss Ambassador. Another shout out for him to winning that sex competition. Win the day. All right, I'll stay, uh, stay tuned in. We're going to switch channels here on the YouTube. So if you get disconnected, make sure you reconnect for the new link on the YouTube channel. As we continue our knockout phase here, the Switch 3 X3 Tour phase finale here in Zurich main train station.
Welcome back live here with, I'm your host D Lang with 3x3 Swiss Tour 2022 Finale. We have arrived to the knockout phase here in Zurich, Switzerland. Oh, our first matchup is Team Freeberg, challenged by Team Bull. As you know in a knockout phase, is either win or go home. So we're gonna expect both teams to lay it out on the line. This is where things get a little more exciting, a little more intense than you can see in the regular pool play games. You guys are coming really familiarized with Team Freeberg who came on the scene like a storm, shaking up the scene. These guys have un are undefeated in the Swiss Tour play so far. They're 17 and 0. Uh, really making a, a statement uh, which I talked with uh, the Capitan Nathan Drukovic earlier that that was their goal to go undefeated to really show that they are a powerhouse to be reckoned with and none of this is by fluke so they've been representing very well and they have a chance to go 18-0 against Team Bull uh, who's going to be coming out energized and fighting as much as they can off the tip up top Arnold Couture Nice fadeaway jump in there, no good. Up top, Kevin Montero. He couldn't get it to fall. A lot of back and forth. This first 20 seconds. Quick subs in, Nathan Djurkovic, known as Swiss Khalifa. Most experienced player on the floor right now when it comes to 3x3. As Dubas wheels himself into the paint. Gets a nice tough basket. Nice footwork by the big fella Kevin to get it going. Let's show that again. Yes, he definitely held the foot down. Not a violation at all. Great footwork by the big fella. Easy lob there for Team Freeberg. 
Kevin's trying to work on Dubas. Miss fired on that one. Two to one, almost one minute played out. Looking for the big fella. Nathan handles it one hand, couldn't get the fall, but there's the big fella to fall. Follow. Ref weighs that basket off because he held on the rim. So that's a offensive interference only because of that. I top petit two. Oh, knock down, baby. He scores two. Gives Team Bull the first lead. But that was quickly erased as the score is tied back up three to three. Nice set play here by Team Bull looking to get Savoir loose. Big fella's gonna have to get something done. He's tightly defending, makes Mushers up a tough one against Dubas right there. Four to three in favor of Team Bull. As, as expected, you, you know this guy's gonna come out and fight. Show sure a lot of heart and effort. Will they have the opportunity to upset Team Freeberg 3x3 in this matchup? Just got to stay tuned in. Anybody's ball game. And I can imagine most people are pulling for the underdogs. Nice shot there by Savoie. 6-3. You can expect the next time out. The Capitan, Nathan, to get on his teammates heavily. Making sure they don't let things slip away right now. Even though they've placed their ticket into the Masters into Brecken with their win in Pristina. These guys have already qualified. So they've been taking care of business all season. Up top, the lob. Inside presence, big man. They're all on the floor, 6'9 and up. It's kind of difficult to, to command things with their size and ability. You see big Kevin and Dubas going at it. Dubas up top, easy bucket inside. Savoie trying to get the easy one against Nathan. Mikey clears it, they're up seven to five. Need a basket here. Three seconds on the shot clock. They're gonna have to get one up and in the hairy. Savoy pulls off the duck. No good. Seven minutes and one second left in this ball game. Freeberg has not turned on the burners yet. As Couture pulls up for two. Offensive rebound right there by Thomas. He gets it, follows up on his own rebound to score. And he gets a steal right on time, baby. Trying to get his game and his team in the rhythm. But they know they're playing at a slow pace right now. Maybe because of the layoff that they had. They've set out since 120 today. So two hours of no game play. They're looking a little bit rusty right now. Go back and talk a little bit about what they've done so far. In this 3x3 season, they've gained a lot of experience traveling abroad. 
as mentioned earlier, they, they went to Canada, Edmonton. They had a tough fight there. Uh, won some games, but only with point spread. They uh, didn't make it to the quarterfinals, but in Port Dears, France, they had a great showing. Also in Germany, Hamburg, uh, and Kosovo. And they were also in Croatia, so they traveled to about six different countries throughout this season to get, gain some valuable experience and also finish with the nice qualifying to the Masters in Pristina. Nice move inside by Couture. He draws the foul. We head to the line. Team Bull has to be careful. That's uh, team foul number four. Three more. There'll be in the penalty. And you don't want to give Team Freeberg easy opportunities. Make them work for everything. They're just dominating with size right now to get the offensive rebound. A little buck. A little indecisive of what happened right there, but I, I believe the ball will go back to Team Bull if the ref is encouraged that Dupas was in the zone, restricted zone, and they weren't able to carry out that ball out, but nope, that is not the case. That will be a turnover. Inside to the big fella once again. Not much you can do with the size advantage. Do this again, playing with that. In the circle violation, next one will be a technical foul. And Team Bull will be able to profit from it. Tough shot right there by Savoy. Throws up the hook. I'm not sure he cleared that one, so that will be a violation and a turnover. Ball will go back to possession of Team Freeberg. <laughs> nice drive right there by Dubas. He draws the foul. Strong drive as well. I think the foul was called before on Kevin. But he might have caught a double whammy there. Good back screen action there. Inside, I believe that one will count. Yes, it does. Nice set up play right there by Team Freeburg. Nine to seven is your score with Dubas. Mr. International himself at the line to increase the advantage. And also, you can see Team Bull has 16 fouls, so they're threatening on trip thin water right now. But they're going to have to foul more and more as Team Freeberg definitely has a size advantage. As Nathan comes up with the steal and the easy basket. Up top, lob time. Dubas comes up short. Nice physical activity again right there. Kevin misses the layup, smoked it as clear as day. Euro step by Thomas can count it. P2 needs this one for his team to fall. No good. Dubas for two. Nathan cleans it up. Flexes. Thirteen to seven as Team Freeburg is starting to, to take control of this matchup. I know Team Bull has a lot of fight in them. See if they can get one. Up top will be 
Team Bulls basketball. Setting up their set play. Savoie couldn't get it off at the Astrid arms of Couture. Great defensive stop there. One on one, P2. He pulls up in the face of Thomas, but couldn't get it to fall. Side lob to the monster himself. Uh, tried to powerhouse that one down. Didn't clear it. That's going to be a violation if he shoots it. Uh, that'll be a foul. Nice action. The big fella's trying to bring down the house. See as Dubas was in route to, a, to bring the house down. But Kevin said, not today, not in my house. We ain't having that. Nice shot there by Dubas. They are in penalty team bull, so he is getting two shots. They widen that gap 15 to 7. Sixteen to seven. Money Mike attacks the rim. No good. Djokovic looking for the easy one. Gives it to the big fellow who brings it down backwards. It's like he's on pogo sticks. He just leaps up from where he stands and gets things done the way he wants. Money Mike puts on the move. Greatly defended by Dubas on that possession. Three minutes and 33 seconds left in this ball game. Quick TV timeout here, both teams discussing. Trying to figure out the next moves, but it looks like Team Freeberg has a commanding lead. So they're probably trying to figure out how to conserve energy. And but also finish this game off before Team Bull can make a a, a run of their own. Because P2, he can definitely light up some downtown shots. If that happens, they can fight their way back into this ball game. You definitely don't want that to happen in 3x3 play. Up top, possession boo. That set play, high pick and roll out to Kevin. He gets the range. He's going to bring that one down. Nice slam dunk there. 8 to 17. Arnold Couture lines up a two pointer. And he connects 19 to 8. One possession, and they can close this game out with a two pointer, or it could be two possession with two. I would say high flying dunks, which they regularly do. So Kevin looking for something. No good. Can Nathan. Nope, gets it inside the little bro. He goes a baby hook shot. 20 to 8 is your score. Mikey one on one. Not today, says Nathan. Bull and Freeburg's a neighbor, but no mercy, baby. No mercy at all. The size definitely has its advantages. You gotta be able to shoot over those long, outstretched arms. Makes it really difficult. Nice step back right there by Money Mike. No good. Two minutes and 30 seconds left in this game. Nice. Fade away shot there by Mike. 20 to nine is your score. Good tour for the game. Out of bounds. Trying to finalize this game, but just can't get it to fall. 20 to nine. Game is going to be over. If I had an MVP to draw from this game, it's kind of, kind of balanced. But Dubas has done this thing. Money Mike trying to still get something to go. Dubas trying to capitalize from deep. Uh.
waiting patiently for this game to be finalized. As you can see, Freeburg definitely in control. But can they finish it off? Kevin again with the drive, looking for the contact, no call. Thomas with a tough shot from two, and he nails it, 22. The nine is your score. Stay tuned in for the next matchup. Here we have Team Neon and Team Basel going at it.
Just to recap, we're getting to the second round of the knockout phase here at the 3x3 Swiss Tour. The grand finale here in Zurich, right here in the main train station. A lot of beautiful atmosphere set up here for a spectacular event. We got Team Basel looking to knock off Team Neon. This is going to be an another great knockout round game. Uh, as we've seen before, Team Freeburg were able to knock out Team Bull. It's win or go home time, baby. I'm going to write down who I think is going to win this game and see if I was able to predict this correctly. This is going to be very interesting. Both of these teams are very, I say, well matched up amongst one another. So let's see what transpires. Up top, Team Neon, Elliot Kubler. He misfires on his first attempt. Zayed up top. Then the two-point shootout, trying to catch on from that experience a little bit earlier as he drives to the basket, gets an easy one. What I love to hear so far about this tour is that the fans are very engaged and loving the action, loving the energy, participating. You can hear the applause. And Ah, this is this sport is very indeed in route to take aim on becoming a powerhouse sport as it just was introduced into the Olympics in 20. Uh, the first, I say, Olympian champions were were crowned. Now we'll have 2024 Olympics that will be held in Paris as Kostic lines up one from deep downtown. To give his team a three to one advantage. Kubler out up top. Iso's got a smaller guard. Can he get it off? Nope. Great defense there by Kostix. He's about to put it on the line now. A lot of heart and energy. Kubler takes off. He's a high flyer. Nice shot again by Coach. He's starting to turn on the burners already. That's a good sign from the shooter. Another one. Can he go for three in a row? Uh, just missed the trifecta. Only seen two players do it today. That was Jules Stalder and uh, Gino Martinez. That's Right on cue, Jules knocks down downtown from two. Sebastian from the corner, high archer. Couldn't get the fall. Up alone is coaches again. You guys might have got lucky on that possession. 101. Asks for the pick and roll. Doesn't use it. Rejects it. Fish is in traffic. Crowd is getting into it. Stalder pulls up for two again, no good. We've played two minutes so far. Six to four is our score. Team Basel up top. But Muhammad's trying to cut into that lead right here, and he does that. Scores. Six to five is your score. Oh, right back at you, says Kosick. Uh-oh, my guy is catching on fire. I smell trouble. And they're setting up the defensive pressure. But Jules said, that's just easy work for me, baby. Just turn up the pressure all you want. Coach is with the ball. He's been the man on fire so far in this game. He pulls up another one. Uh, in and out on that one. He's got an open shot now. Oh, catch the big man. Trying to use his momentum against him. And Zaire pulls up for two. Nice shot there. Great ball game here so far, 10 to six. Kyle Oliveira, let's see what the young fella's gonna be able to do. So he gets to the rack, nice finger roll there. Bastion looking for the man inside, Zaid. Catches contact, but couldn't finish it. The big fella Muhammad, 
He pulls from range. Good hustle there by Team Basel. Gets it out to Akosik. Can't get no more open ends. Zai is everywhere right now. He pulls up a two. He's bringing the energy for Team Basel right now. Just needs something to connect. Looking for the shooter. Coach has misfires on his last three shots. Maybe be a little bit gassed and winded. He's got to find some energy and heart to finalize it. And this is win or go home time, baby. And there can only be one. Coach said, I ain't tired. I ain't tired, baby. I just missed. Pulls up and knocks it down. 12 to 8 is our score. As long as the big fella keeps shooting shots, I think the Team Basel is very content with that. Jules trying to get it back. That's where you want the big fella inside. Jules trying to shoot off balance shot. No good. Maybe he got a, a timeout here, TV timeout. Big shout out to our official partners and sponsors of this event. New ball, Unity 3x3. Got to show a lot of love for them this Swiss tour. Also, big shout out to Red Bull. Got the Red Bull truck and DJ on the mic. Spinning the tunes. Creating a lot, great atmosphere here. Big shout out to Energy Milk. Providing a little rev revitalization for the players as well. Plasma communications for all the designs you see here today for displaying this unique event that we have going on. Also the official basketball being played here today with this by Wilson. And also our uniforms by Team 14. Also a shout out to Artie Sports Management as we close down this second game of knockout play as Mr. Dylan gets himself to the basket forcefully, and he scores. Good shot by the big fella. Oh, a lot of action here. Both teams going at it. A lot of physical play. Got to love it. Elliot Cuba trying to take his man one-on-one, -on -one, uses athleticism. With the flip back. Tough shot there. Jules is going to probably get a tech the next time he starts talking back to the ref. The ref's explaining to him. He kind of got lucky because automatically he could have received a tech according to the rules on that one. <laughs> Eli Kubler with the size advantage. It's going to be a tough. Matchup for Koshik down there. That athleticism he has. He's drawing the foul. Jules up top for two. He misfires on that one. Missed completely his target. Go back to some player interviews after this matchup. Try to get one of the winners to join us in. Let us know about their little experience so far within the Swiss Tour, this grand finale, and what their objectives are. Foul is the call. Elliot Kubler is tripped up by Kostik on that play. Just a little entanglement with the feet. Nothing intentional, as you can see in the replay. Up top, inside to the big fella. He pulls out for a jumper. Nice bucket there. I believe he should have been in there a little bit earlier as Kosis makes him pay with an answer. Earlier, Big Muhammad had the mismatch size advantage, and he was shooting two-pointers 
when he should have been in there battling just like he did right there, trying to create an advantage. That just comes from experience and communication amongst the team to, to not, I say, lose opportunities such so valuable when playing this game because it's so fast paced that sometimes you forget you might have an advantage somewhere just playing just because the team gives you this. Nope, you gotta pound it in. Try to create an advantage possible. 16 to 10 is your score. Four minutes and 24 seconds left in this ball game. Elliott pulls up for two. Nice inside bucket right there by Kubler. He gets it to go. Diet, oh, not today, says Kyle Oliveira. He brings it out, blocks it. As you can see, very nice block by the young fella right there on that possession. He gets up, timed it well. Kubla with a tough two-pointer. No good. Koshis puts on the brakes, trying to get him on his back, but he couldn't finish it. But he draws the foul. Another TV timeout. Three minutes and 45 seconds left in the ball game. 16 to 11 is your score with Team Basel on top. Koshis laying down the rules and regulations how to close this out, as he's the most experienced in 3x3 competition on his team. Gives a lot of energy and life, also leadership for his team. Team Neon is young, very new to the circuit as well. But they've been in contention. Let's see if Jules Starter can catch on fire to, to catch his team up. Or Elliott take over with his athleticism. They're gonna have to do something. They have enough time, that's for sure. But they're gonna have to do something soon in the hurry. Sebastian wide open for two. That's not the way to get it done as Team Basel has continued to make their mark here. They might have the opportunity to close it out in the next two possessions. Looking for something. Dylan look inside, he penetrates. One second, looking for the foul. That'll be a shot clock violation. Up top, looking for it. Kublu, nice pick and roll action right there by Team Neon. Team Basel. Representing the German area. They're getting more love here. As you can see, the fan is getting into it. You gotta love it. 19 to 12. Ball up top. Team Neon. If Team Basel can get a stop, close it out with a two pointer. They'll save themselves some time and energy to recuperate for the finals. Kubler with a tough shot, shot clock winding down. He had to shoot it, missed his target. Nice over the coach. Kenny put the nail in the coffin. Nope. Came up short with it. Starter pump face. Gets to the basket. Penetrates. Draws the contact. Finishes. Nice tough basket there. 13 to 19. Up top to the big fella. Oh! That would have brought the house down if he was able to connect on that one. Starter for two. They've had opportunities to get themselves back in the game, but 
Just can't find what they're looking for. Entanglement down low. Jews trying to calm down the big fella. Motion is rising high. That would say that was not a shot attempt. He'll be headed back up top with possession of the basketball. Oh, nice drop off by Kostic. Very nice indeed. 20, 13 turnover there. Taib, no good. Tried to close out the game. Could not do it. Cooper trying to draw the foul. <laughs> it's a tough one off the glass. Can count it. 15 to 20. I think this is going for game. Sebastian looking for the killer. Comes up short. No good. One minute and 29 seconds left. Cooper can muster up a couple more of those shots. The opportunity to steal this ball game. Kubler pulls up another one, no good. Kosick inside, out to Zayi. He's trying to kill it, no good. Great hustle right there. Kosick for the game. Still can't get it to fall. One minute left, Kubler needs this one to fall. Another opportunity, 16 to 20. Time is running down, underneath one minute. Good drive right there by Coaster. Little live play, no action there, no foul, no nothing call. Big fell inside, misses the layup, gets it right back. We're gonna have to go back into it, 17 to 20, a couple more possessions. He draws the foul, but it was on the pass. So they'll be headed up top with the basketball. No, that definitely was on the floor. I mean, on the attempt of passing, so they'll be headed out top. Footwork inside for the big fellas. Sebastian trying to close it out. Kicks it out to Zayed. Wide open. This is game. Oh, in and out off the backboard. They're going to have to move quickly, Team Neon. I don't know if they understand there's only 17 seconds left on the shot clock. Check back in to Maestro. Kostic inside. Draws the fifth foul. Team Neon look like they're gonna come up short in this one. 15 seconds. They're gonna have to get a steal. And a Hail Mary, if anything, to have a little life. Zayed, work down the clock, smart move there. Nice footwork there by the big fella. He draws the foul, but that's only the 16th foul, so they'll be right back up top with the basketball. Coach Six, he draws a foul and he'll be headed to the line with an opportunity to close out this ball game. And I'm sure he'll do that. He has two opportunities to do it. He only needs one. So he can pretty much call this ball game. And he does just that. Great win there, 21 to 17. For Basel, Team Basel over Team Neon. Stay tuned in. We got Team Lazan facing off against Team Monte for the next matchup of the knockout phase.
Coach Dix, great win in the knockout phase against Team Neon. How are you feeling about that win? It was good. We fight. We gave everything. We could like close the game a little bit finish, yeah, earlier, but yeah, that's 3x3. You're never going to go back when they're going to come back. Yeah. Uh, you guys did a great job. I, I, I don't know if you guys have a lot of fans from Basel here, but did you bring a lot of people here from Basel? Of course, we did that. Like we, I said, like everybody has to come today. You guys are doing a great job. We're looking forward to see what we can expect from you from the next game. Yeah, it's Freiburg, they are the favorites, but we showed in Weber like we can compete to them to the end. We have to try it again, like everything what we got now. Well, good luck to you guys for the next matchup, and we'll see you soon. Thanks. <laughs> We're back, Swiss basketball fans, with the third matchup of the knockout phase here. Team Lausanne, as you see, we're introduced. And Team Monte, you can expect this to be another good game. We got the sharpshooter, Christopher Viridell, who just showed he was the best shooter on the Swiss 3x3 tour. He wins with a great performance of 15 points putting on the board 
in that heavy finals matchup against Nathan Casango. We got King West. We got Marco Lehman and also the maestro himself, Gilles Martin, outlining the Team Design Sport 3x3. They will be challenged on here by Team Monte. The captain of that team, Derek Winston. He's off with the big fella, Evron Acho and Jerome Dominguez. They've been fighting their way into this quarterfinal round with three players. For this matchup, that's going to wear and tear on them as Team Lazan likes to move the ball. They play with a lot of pace, a lot of energy. So if Team Monte cannot sustain that, they're going to come up short this matchup. Right out the gate, door, nice back door. You can see the experience of Team Lazan trying to take advantage of any mismatch. Dominguez might have had a jumper opportunity right there. He just thought he had passed it instead of shoot it. He had all the ability right there in the paint to pull up. That's just game recognition right there. Here's Martin back and forth. Nice shot there by Weston Motini. D. Winston pulls up for two. Oh, in your face, Barry Dell. Barry Dell said, give me the ball back. I'll show you how it's done. I just beat you in a two-point shootout. You don't want to start nothing with that guy. That's a friendly foul amongst one another. Those guys hang out <laughs> a lot. They might be competing one against one another, but it's just part of the game. A lot of physicality, things happen. But at the end of the day, all these guys know each other. They compete against one another all season. And sometimes hang out. G. Martin up for two, no good. D. Winston with another two. Nice slip pass there by West to Marco Lehman. Nice shot there by Rome Dominguez, but he couldn't get it to fall. A lot of active back and forth we go. Christopher Veridell scaring up Dominguez, gives him the hezzy. He draws the foul. Be headed to the line, I believe. Yes. Four to four is your score. Eight minutes and 24 seconds in this ball game. That'll be the first team foul drawn. Barry Dell connects on the free throw. Gets the ball for in earned pass. Kicks it quickly to Marco who gets it blocked by Everon. Got two of the best shot blockers on the court. And Everon Acho and West. Well, we call him King West in the basketball world 3x3. Nice move there by Dominguez. Five to four is your score. Oh, nice slip there, pass there. Couldn't get it to go. As you can see, we have a great turnout fans in this crowd participating very involved and engaged in every possession of this ball game which is what you want to see when you have a sport or an event very great job here by Swiss basketball to continue to promote the sport on a high level 
Dee Winston up top for two, way off his mark. The guy has no conscience. There's no shot that Dee Winston doesn't like. This could be to the advantage. Oh, that was a lob. I seen that coming from a mile away. Good look there by Jill. He had him. Very well misread that one. Good defense by King West. Gets inside. D. Winston pulls off a deep. Gets it back. That's another way. I might, might be able to count that one. Yes, indeed. He had his feet set. Putting it out. What's Verdell going to do with it? Uh. Drives, kicks out to King West. King West lines one up. No good. Gets his own rebound. Not sure if it was clear. Now it is. Christopher Verdell is going to pull up. No good. I think we have a malfunction with the shot clock. Might have ran out of batteries. I think the guys are getting back on it. We got action. <laughs> got the action of the shot clock. We have a problem with it. I think we can't get it back set, and it's going to be right to resume the game. Let's give both teams a little bit of time to regroup, find themselves. We got a a great ball game going on. Six to 17, Monte has the lead right now over the powerhouse, Zazan Sport 3x3. But how long would that last? We know team experiences, Zazan Sport. These guys have it coming and they know what they do when it gets down to grind time. Execution in these type of games is what it comes down to. You can see them setting up their next sets for this ball game. This can go in favor of Team Monte as they only had three players for this game getting a much needed rest right now. I think we got action again. Great job by our guy, Mr. Matthew Valle. Getting things back in order over there. And the team, Tamara, Ben. Trying to get things up and in the hurry so we can stay on time with our events. Go to 14, looks like it's working. There we click, the timer's not winding down. We might have to pull out the other shot clock. Just. Gonna change the box out. Guys are well prepared for this. See Mr. Ben himself and Matthew Valet taking charge, getting this thing in order as quick as possible. What's up, D. Winston? See out there pulling. He's getting a valuable rest time right now. <laughs> He's needing it. <laughs> Ah, you, you're getting a lucky advantage right now. We got the shot clock settled, everything back in order. We can resume gameplay. Great job there, Matt, getting things in order. Seems like it's in order.
Well, maybe spoke too soon. Barry's disconnected. We got another remote control. Yeah, they're working again. We got action. We're good to go, baby. Great job, Swiss basketball team. Getting things back in order. We're at it. Travel is your call. That was just as evident as can be. Up top, set play by Team Lazan Sport 3x3. Hook pass into Verydell. He gets it to fall. Seven to seven. Big Evron inside gets the easy basket. Eight to seven. Back down. Barry Dow wide open. That's not what you want to leave or the person you don't want to leave open, but he just misfired on that one. I don't think he'll do it two times in a row. I would say Team Monte's coming up a little bit lucky on that respective end of the basket because it's very Dow doesn't miss too many in a row. There you go. He found it. He went from deep, deep. No good. Good hustle by both teams. Nice slip pass right there by West to Marco Lehman once again. D. West are putting the handles on. Marco defending very well. Three seconds, two. He's got to get it off. He draws the foul. Great defensive effort right there by Lehman, but he was called for the foul. He can't believe it, but it is what it is. He'll be shooting two. D. Weston at the line. Trying to keep Team Monte in the thick of things. First shot up. Hard off the glass. Could not connect. Second one up. He finds that one off the glass. Marco Lehman is wide open. He connects from two from downtown. Winston throws up a Hail Mary out of nowhere. That one, I don't know what he was thinking on that shot. Maybe trying to draw the foul there, but not in 3x3 basketball. There's no bailouts. 12 to 9. D Dell. Oh! No strings attached, baby. All buckets here in the Zurich Main Station. D Winston puts on the handles. Loses it. Had his man beat as well. He's pretty mad about that one. Can't get that one back. Oh, that's trying to bring down the house. King West style, baby. Nice fake on that handoff. They able to capitalize on it in big fashion as he brings down the house one more again on that replay. Nice job, big fella. Team out, time out right now. Both teams regrouping. You can see Team Monte is very winded, as is the Zon Sport 3x3. Both teams are trying to play smartly, advance to the next round, but they know what lies ahead. There's Team Montreux still lurking out there, and of course, undefeated Team Freeburg 3x3. So, Everybody's trying to strategize to come up a way to maximize their opportunities 
to get to the finals. A little miss placed by the refs. Ball will go in possession of Team Monte. Trying to set up the play. Offensive foul is the call. You can see that coming. Nice defensive effort by Jill Martin. We'll get it back up top. Nice play right there. Uh. Hook up with Evron. He's unstoppable in there so far. I will keep feeding the ball as much as possible. Mingus looking for the foul. Late whistle, but definitely was a holding right there on Martin. Up top, Minguez puts on the moves. A little too hard on that jump shot. Defensive steal right there. Good hustle by both members of, of the team. A little physical there. Steve Monte looking for the foul, but ref says jump ball. Yeah, ref calls jump ball. Ball will stay in possession of Team Mazan Sport 3x3. Team Monte seems to be in disbelief, but I mean, what can you do once the, the call has been made? There's no overturning it unless you challenge it. I'm sure I've been aware. These guys know if they have a challenge of that. Has that rule been taken out? <laughs> to stay tuned in. Up next, we have Team Montreal, ranked number three on this Wish Tour, taking on. The home team of Team Zurich were ranked eighth. They find themselves here in the in the quarterfinals matchups, which is a good showing for the city as well. Up top, turnover right there by Martin. D. Winston, one on one with Christopher Verydell. He pulls back a deep two pointer, no good. One on one with West. Barry Dell lines up another two-pointer. No good. Good hustle by Lehman right there. Crystal splits it. He's blocked by Evron. He wants to looking for something. Outlet. He's into the big fella. Nice steal there by Barry Dell. Gets inside the lane and draws the foul. He'll be headed to the free throw line to shoot one. Good shot there up and good for Marco Lehman. 3.13 left in this ball game as Domingos takes it to the basket. Contoured himself and couldn't come up with the basket. Yeah, out of bounds. Ball up top. Team Monte. Fans looking, bring it. they're getting involved in the game. Ball is all over the place right now. Nice action there, defensive end. Stop that easy back door, which will be a turnover for Team Lausanne, Sport 3x3. D. Winston with enough two-pointer, he gets it to fall. Told you there's no shot that young man doesn't like. 
another turnover. The Design Sport 3x3. Winston up top. He pulls an unorthodox two-pointer. Looking for the foul, obviously, but he couldn't get it. Not an easy basket for Team Design Sport. 18-11 is your score. Domingos with the shake and bake pull-up jumper. Backdoor action, no good. Greatly read by Dominguez. Inside to the big fella, Evron, who brings down with an easy dunk right there oh nice pass by Jill Martin but a mishandled by Lehman smooth love to see that one more time very nice pass in there just mishandled 18 to 12 under two minutes to play in this ball game that's gonna be a nice one by Dominguez he gets an easy one to the basket Christopher Veridell wide open. Misses an easy one. Let's see if he does it twice. I don't think so. 20 to 13 is your score. Demonte looking for an answer right here, but it's getting a little bit late in the shot clock, or the game clock to speak for them to be able to capitalize their three possessions down with Team Varydale. Lazan Sport 3x3 with an opportunity to end it. No good there. Gilles Martin speaking with the ref. Shot clock winding down. West almost didn't get it off in time, but he does. But also there by Dominguez, but couldn't hold on to the basketball. You can see, look at the arena. Everything is packed right now. Awesome. Crowded. And we're still in quarterfinal play, knockout round. We're heading to the semifinals where we've seen Team Freeberg and Team Basel punch their tickets. Who will be the first and the second semifinal matchup team? Lazan Sport 3x3. Will they be there? They have three possessions away, or well, one shot away from making it. D. Weston pulls up another one. Nice move. Couldn't get it to count for him. He's running out of time now. Only 56 seconds left. And Team Design has the basketball. A great fight put up by Team Monte with no blowout here. It was a competitive game. And Jill Martin hits the clutch at the buzzer to call this game 22 to 14. Team Monte comes up short against Team Lazan. Stay tuned in for our next matchup, Team Montreux versus Team Zurich. Be right back with you.
All right, Swiss basketball fans, we're here at the final round of knockout phase, the quarterfinals matchup with Team Montreux takes on Team Zurich. This is for the marbles, baby. We're gonna go home to match up into the semifinals. They'll match up the winner of this game here against Team Lausanne Sport 3X. Three, 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 three. Let's see if the home team can put up a fight, punch their way into the semifinals. Or will the number three ranked team of of Montreal be able to punch their ticket into the semifinals. This should be a great one. Stay tuned in. Just tuning in, this is the grand finale here in Zurich of the Swiss Tour. A lot of fanfare going on, a lot of atmosphere. Let me show, we're gonna have a little show a little bit later, the dancers in home tune. And we're off and at it. Team Zurich, Jacobson with the ball. He's penetrates, draws the foul off the gate. Nice move there. See if he can get his hometown involved in some energy. Be able to pull up the upset against Team Montreux. Anything is possible, 3x3. He gets the free throw to fall. 1-0 is our score. Up top, you know Martinez pulls back for two. Let's loose. Nothing but baskets, baby. He's bringing it in. Two to one is your score. Artem is back. He had a back spasm. Uh, missed the last game, but his team was able to pull it out and bring them uh, into the quarterfinal round. Nice passing there by team Montreux, but they couldn't deliver with the basket. Nice shot there. But Jacobson, he is two. Three to two is our score. That'll definitely get the crowd involved as you can hear a little applauding going on. Gino Martinez rocks and box with it. He pulls up a deep two-pointer right in the face of Vital. Nice shot there. Getting Team Montreux the four to three advantage. Big time shot there. Rolled that one back one time. With the shot clock winding down, nothing but nylons, baby. Just tuning in, this is the grand finale. The winner of this tour game here in Zurich, or a tour phase, will punch their tickets into the Debrecken Masters. You know where Debrecken is? That's in Hungary. Nice move there. 5-5 five, five is the score. We got a back and forth game here, which we definitely expected. Chika Shama pulls up for two, no good. Nice slip play by Jacobson. He gives his team a renewed advantage. As you can see, there's no blowouts anymore when it comes to 3x3 basketball games, you have the best teams competing, strategizing. I'm sure obviously watching video of one another, trying to find out ways to, to bring home victories. Ref's gonna call holding on that possession. Up top, Tito and Vane with the ball on. Sizes up, little side play there. 
Pedro Pessoa off for two, no good. Uh, the shot clock was winding down. He had to get the shot off, but just not in time. Up top, Artem with the ball. I think he mishandled that. That might be a turnover. Our will possession stay with him. Yes, possession will stay. He has to put it up with two seconds on the shot clock. Misfires. Dijuan up top for two. Nice design play. Team on through, but could not like say, capitalize on it. Dijuan shoots it. No good. Out of bounds. See possession. No, nope, we're going to have a timeout here. Good time for both teams to regroup. Strategize as we have a very close game here with Team Zurich with the bench. Six to five. Team Montreux is going to have to put on their capes right now. They're ranked number three, and they're down to the number eight team right now, which is Team Zurich. They clicked up, organized. Let's see if they can go on a little run here. You know Martinez, he attacks the basket. He draws the foul, and he'll be headed to the line. Let's see, out the replay. Couldn't really see from that angle. If there was contact before the block. But the ref's definitely seen it, so that's all that matters at this point. You know Martinez misses the freebie. He's a bit disappointed about that. Up top, overload play. They run so well, Team Zurich. And Jacobson is just an ISO play for him at that elbow. Teams haven't caught on to it yet. Even Martins with the easy lane for the layup. Gets it to go, five to seven. Or well, should be six to seven. There we go, correct it. Six minutes and 22 seconds left here. What a great showing here in beautiful Zurich. Let's see if the crowd can get in. Home team some energy as Jacobson scores again. They got to pick it up. We have more fans from Basel here. As you've seen in their matchup against Team Neon, the fans were very engaged and brought that team a victory. I would say this, the fourth man on the court. You know, Martinez lines up a two again. He connects. Eight to eight is your ball game. Arthur pulls up. No good. Vital trying to pump his crowd, his team up. They need it. They're, they're in the hunt. They're able to create a, how would you say, an upset against Team Montreux. He's one of the favorites to be in the finals. As they've already beaten Team Lazan Sport 3x3, so they've shown that they're capable of winning. Now it's just about getting it done. Sayabo, nice play there. Oh, mishandled right there by Vanek. 
Trying to get himself back into it. Right side. Robert takes it in. Nice finish right there. 9-8. They get that advantage right back. We're approaching the five-minute mark very soon. Pull back, Van Eyck. Oh, all nets, baby. Gotta love it. Back and forth we go. 10 to 9 is your score. It's Artem wheels and deals itself to the lane. Tight ball game once again. Gotta love it. Here we go. Here we go. That's what 3x3 is about. Back and forth. We go, both teams. 12 to 10 is your score. Moving along very well now. Good pick and roll action there. Nice Euro by Jacobson. He missed it, but that will be a travel by shot clock violation. Nice replay right there with the bird is showing a nice drive. Artem follows up on his miss shot. Gets it back inside. Up top. Left side, pick and roll. Jacobson for two. No good. Back out, team one through. Oh, wait. nice move there by T. Twan looking for the nutmeg play. Refs disputing, which they go off. Definitely uh, off the knee of Jacobson. So the ball should remain in possession of Team Montreux. Pedro Pessoa penetrates off the glass. Off the right side. That's a tough shot as he's a lefty. You know, Martinez with the flip back. Scores another one, 14 to 10. Team Montreux is taking over right now. Good block there by Pedro. Stays with it. Good hustle by both teams. Back and forth we go. Great energy and intensity. Pessoa out to Eno. Martinez, he launches the two. Come up short. Tip pass. No good. Great action by both of these teams. I think we got a TV timeout. Coming up. Beautiful action. Displayed a lot of effort, a lot of energy on both sides of the court. Great surprise now. Got the president himself, Sergi Giancarlo, in the building here, making sure everything is running smoothly. It's great to see Mr. President. He's done a great job of Swiss basketball, bringing about the visibility here. He's here making sure everybody's doing what we need to do get done to continue to grow the sport. But he's got a great team that's been leading the way here. And you can see how much more the sport has grown amongst the leadership here. As we get back into action, Team Montreux comes up with the steal, 15 to 10. As your score, Team Zurich is not out of it. They have a chance. Get it down inside the paint to Jacobson. He draws the foul. Three minutes and 22 seconds. Left. He should be headed to the free throw line here. I referred earlier. Jacobson is representing Zurich very well as he misfires on that free throw. He told me he was a little bit tired, but I told him, man, you got to keep pushing in, my guy. Got an opportunity to do some upsets here. Got to find a way. Nice one there by hook shot. Montreux is up 16 to 10. We're approaching the three minute mark here. Time is running out. Jacobson gets to the line again, almost gets the two point opportunity. But he will be headed to the line still.
Good shot there by Jacobson, gets it to fall. Tituan Vane, up, no good. Up top, G battles himself inside the lane. A lot of contact, he'll be headed to the free throw line. G Kashama. Can he connect on this free throw? Nope, front rims it, gets his own rebound. Blocked there by Robert. Arton pulls up. Oh, almost connects off the glass for that one. No bully ball here. They get another key stop inside, but Arton is ready to pull later. Rebound. Stops the bleeding for Team Zurich. They're only down two possessions. A lot, a lot of time here in this game. That'll be a shot clock violation. Great defensive stop right there by Team Zurich. Still, you know Martinez with the ball. Drives, no good. Ball will stay in possession of Team Montreux, looks like. Refs de debating. Will he stay in possession of Team Montreux or oh, who the foul was on? Oh, 66. Oh, that was team foul. They called it a team foul. Another. That's the 16 foul on Team Zurich. One more foul. And Team Montreux will be headed to this charity strike, try to get some easy ones. Good pressure there by Team Montreux. Up top, Martinez. No good. Oh, Jacobson with a nice pump fake. Gets an easy layup. They're only down three. One minute and 33 seconds left. A lot of time for the home team to try to get something done. Chika Shum is left wide open. He couldn't capitalize on it. Ball will go to Team Zurich. Paul just ran in and out on that possession. Unfortunate for Team Montreux. You see Jacobson, the easy layup here. Big shout out to our sponsors, official partners, New Ball, Unity 3x3. They are the official sponsor of this Swiss Tour. That was a great job here in Zurich for the two events that were hosted here as well. Been great fanfare. A lot of energy, a lot of excitement. Team Zurich is here showing up again with opportunity to punch their ticket to the Final Four in this knockout phase game. Big miss there right to Vital. Had opportunity to cut it to two points. Vital is upset. And that will be two shots for Team Zurich. Pedro Pessoa headed to the line. Front rims the first one and bouncing in and out. Misses both of them. Follows up on his rebound though. Time is winding down so it's in favor of Team Montreux. Still trying to get something to go.
16 to 13. We need a possession right here, a positive one. For Team Zurich, if they're going to have opportunity, there's Jake some wide open for two. Just what they were looking for. 15 to 16. Let the fans go crazy right now. Trying to get them in, energized. They have an opportunity here. 42 seconds left in this ball game. Great shot there by Jacobson. Representing Zurich very well. But those fouls like that are not going to hold up well for Team Zurich if Tetuan makes them pay the price here. He has two shots. They missed two free throws just in the previous possessions. Missed the third one. So they're bringing back life for Team Team Zurich in this ball game. They're only down a couple points. They have an opportunity to get back in this game. One point. Artem gets to the lack. He's and he draws the foul. <laughs> -wee. We got a ball game, ladies and gentlemen. 16 to 17. Opportunity to tie it up here. This is going to get interesting. Team Montour can't believe it, but we are here. Let's see if Arden can tie it up. No pressure. This is on the free throw. Had the opportunity to tie it up. Team Montreux is bolted down the clock. Ian Martinez flips it up. Gets it to go. What a flip. Jacobson, they need two to tie it. We'll get to the ring. Oh, in and out on that possession. That might just do it. Yep, they have to foul again. Jason can't believe that ball went in and out on that possession. But a nice flick right there by Gino, getting contort shot to fall for him. Big time possession. Nice shot there by Chika Shama. He might have put the icing on the cake right there. Second shot is good for Cheek. 19 to 16 is your score. This ball game looks like it is over. I think we'll have a little intermission right before the semifinals. Dan's group is coming on. So we'll catch up with an interview from the winners of this ball game. As Team Montreal moves into the semifinals, they will face off this team, Lazan. Quick break here, a little dance exhibition going to be displayed. And we'll start off our semifinal round with Team Freeberg and Basel, I do believe. We'll be right back with you with a quick interview for one of our players. Great job by Team Zurich. Represented well, fought to the very end. Just came up short against a very good team, Montreal, who's ranked three here. Stay tuned in. We'll be right back. All right, Swiss basketball fans, we're here at the man himself, Gino Martinez, representing Team Montreal. 
This has been a great Swiss tour for you guys. You guys show that you guys are capable of winning it, being the powerhouse design sport 3x3. Now we're here into the grand finale. Tell us what you expect for this next round semifinal matchup against the Zahn Sport 3x3. Well, hopefully we expect the same result that we had in Zurich last time. We're back in Zurich. So hopefully better, better result than in, uh, in here last year when we lost in final. We want to go to the final. We want to win this year. So there is nothing else that to beat Team Lausanne. I mean, you've been playing very well. You've been captain, more experienced player within this tour. Tell us a little bit about your journey. Well, you know, it's, it's difficult to say as the oldest player on the court, but I still got some, still got good rest. And, you know, my teammates counting on me. They don't let me down. So, you know, it's just giving back. Well, good luck to you guys in this semifinals matchup, and we'll stay tuned in and we'll see what you do. Thank you, thank you. We'll try it too. We need to win this year. Good job. You know Martinez. <laughs> right back with you guys.
All right, Swiss basketball fans, we're back at it here in the semifinal round of the 3x3 Swiss Tour 2022 finale here at the main train station in Zurich. We got a very, I would say, competitive game in front of us with the almost feels like a hometown team, Team Basel, as they represent the Ger German Canton teams as well. They're facing off against Team Freeburg, who's a heavy hitter, who's proven they're one of the powerhouses in this Swiss Tour. They're still undefeated. So let's see if Team Basel is able to muster up some energy from that fourth man, the crowd here in Zurich to pull up an upset. We know they're going to fight out with all their heart and energy they have to make this a competitive game. So let's stay tuned in. Let's see what transpires. A little bit ahead of schedule, but well, that's perfect. Up top. To the air up there, Arnold Couture, he has the ball. Left side, Toms goes to work. He gets the basket to fall right out the gate. Muscles his way in against Kostik, trying to take away an advantage. Gets the size there. First points on the board for Team Freebird, 3x3. Up top, Zayed with the ball. Little pick action there. Zayed decides to go one-on-one -on -one against the bigger. Couture had to get it off because the shot clock was winding down. Inside again, Thomas is taking advantage of his mismatch there. He scores a quick two. Nice, smart move by Team Freeberg. Trying to get the easy components that they can get size-wise. Good drive there by Dubas. He's Tangled up with Zayed. Draws the foul. Tough fall there. I hope he did. he's okay. He's grasping that wrist a little bit. Inside up top. Swiss Khalifa. Easy right hand layup. 4-0. Kostik trying to sneak a pass in there. there. Was not much room. But they will stay in possession of the ball. Kostik told me through the interview that they had their fans out here, and you can see they're here supporting. Which is awesome and amazing in its own, own sense. One minute played so far, big fella. Looking for something. Throws it away and Kosick's trying to line one up and he does it. Crowd getting into it. Two to four. Nice looking jumper right there from behind the arc by Kosick. We got the president in the house. You can see on the big screen, Sergi Giancarlo. In here, right, watching the young talent go at it in this beautiful Swiss basketball 3x3 tour. Definitely has a love for the game, passion for it. Continues to grow the sport step by step. We had a team Basel trying to get something going with a high archer from Sebastian. Couldn't find it. Nice tip pass right there, but. Out of control, it's Team Freeburg 3x3 right now. The tour draws the foul. Up top, Zayed left, 
Gets it to the big fella down low. Sharmer looking for something. Zayat pulls a high arc in two. He comes up short. One second on the shot clock. Has to get it off. Good block right there by Nathan. Gets it right inside to Dubas after that possession. Big guys using their size well. Good flip up by Sebastian as he attacks the lane. He draws the foul against Duba. I believe he'll be headed to the line. Definitely a lot of contact there. He gets scrapped across the arm. He connects on the free throw. Three to six is our score. Thomas pulls up for two, no good. Air up there with the rebound offensively. Fight for Zai is there. Great hustle and energy, and the crowd lets him know they appreciate the energy and effort. Inside to the big fellow. Well, we'll say short corner area. Gets it back. Has the opportunity to get it in. Yes, right before the shot clock went off. Good hustle there. Six to four is our score. Smart play by Kostik there. The box out the, his opponent before he can get his height and advantage over him. Nice pull step back by Zaid. Uh, misfires but falls on his rebound. Another one. That one's blocked. By Dubas. Gets it inside to Jonathan. Inside. Out of bounds on Basel. TV timeout. Team Basel can't believe what they're hearing. I think the score is 6-5. to five. Uh, I believe that score is wrong. It should be. Should be changed, but we'll see. Yes, seven to four is our score officially. As things were changed. Timeout ensued. The Swiss basketball crew gets things organized. Inside looking for Dubas. Six seconds on the shot clock. Cross court pass to Thomas. He short rims it. Gets his own rebound. Follows up. There's Dubas once again. Ball will stay in possession of Team Freeburg. Great action down low, but just couldn't get it to fall. You can see Team Basel scrappy as ever, just fighting for every possession. You gotta love it. Good defense there. We'll be called for the foul, though. Dubas left that one short. Knew it immediately when he left his hand. Sherman needs this to fall. Couldn't get it. Seven to four. Inside to the air up there. Great footwork spins. Two seconds on the shot clock. Nathan needs this to fall. Couldn't get it. So True is looking for the duck on that one. And that will be out of bounds. Who's that out on? Possession will remain in Team Freeberg's hands after a little confusion there. We're back at it though. Joker's looking inside. Ball. You can see the fans are cheering for Team Basel. Oh, nice move there by Sebastian, but couldn't come up with it. Two seconds on the shot clock. Brankovich, what a move. Gets the scoop. Oh, yeah, baby. 
fans are in it. We got a ball game. Once again, five to seven. Offensive foul. Team is joining. This is getting activated. Team Basel is making a run here. The fans are getting excited. A lot of emotions flying already. As expected, this is for the semifinals. The winner of this punches their ticket into the finals. They get to compete for cash money. Zayed looking for something. Dylan one on one. He spins, he deals, and he finishes. Six and seven. Here we go. Thomas with the answer. He's off to Couture. He gets the basket. Oh, now that's what we love about 3x3. It goes action fast and in a hurry. Out of bounds is the call. Dubas seemed to be in hit. Bit upside on the sideline. Nathan getting his troops back in order. Up top, Koshis with the ball, handoff, Sebastian. He pulls up from deep, off the glass, no good. Zaire with the rebound. Trying to get something against one of the better defenders on this team. Nathan Jurevich is going to be tough. That kid is one of those guys who sacrifices for the team. If he needs to play defense, he plays defense. He needs to get some points on the board. His coach is trying to drive the foul. Tough shot there. Great defensive effort right there by Thomas. Inside lob to Dubas. Comes up short. Look as scrappy as they all want to be. Team Basel is at it, but Team Freeberg answers the call. Zayed answers. It's getting physical, baby. Both teams looking for answers from the ref. I think we're going to need a TV timeout very soon. Emotions are raging high right now. Basel can smell that they have an opportunity here. They're definitely competing on a high level. Good block there by Orange Couture. He spins, he deals. Gets into the lane, nice finger roll, no good. Koshis with the ball. Nice flip there, no good as well by Koshis. Check. Nathan Djokovic all along, easy layup. Still right there by Thomas. Great anticipation on his part. That's going to be a holding foul. Very evident there. 11 to 6 is our score. Both teams very aggressive as you can see. Five team fouls for Team Basel and four for Team Freeberg. Inside to the big fella. Dubas scoops. No good. Gets it back. Lays it in. Inside Zayed pulls for two. Needs that one. Couldn't get it to fall. I believe we're going to have a TV timeout coming up soon. Yes, on cue. TV timeout. Give both teams the time to cool off a little bit. The score to 12 to 6. Team Freeberg has the advantage over Team Basel. A lot of great action back and forth we go on both ends, offensively and defensively. It's a very physical game as well. As you can see, both teams are, I would say, they're in tune to their star player right now. All the motions and energy are left on the floor, and that's what you're going to see when you have a competitive sport with great teams playing at a high level. Somehow Team Freeberg has become the team to beat this year as they remain undefeated. Team Basel trying to, to change things, but it's going to be difficult when you get buckets like that to Mr. International Dubas. Coaches with the up and under. Nice move, young fella. Oh, ball just in and out on him. Thomas squares up. Jabs. Out top. Couture inside to Big Dubas. He has the height advantage. Gets an easy one. Mouse in the house, he says. 
Koshin is the fighter, but size-wise, that's a tough matchup for anybody. I don't even care if you're 6'8". That's still a tough matchup down there. Thomas pulls up. Two, no good. Smart defensively effort gives Koshin no open endings. Coach is going to have to pull up a tough one. Couldn't get it to fall. 14 to 6. Two boys fighting his way inside. He draws a foul and he gets the basket to fall. That is 15 to 6. Freeberg up with John Kadubas at the line with an opportunity to raise this advantage to 10 points. What a ball game, ladies and gentlemen. Freeberg is taking on that physicality. It's been placed on him by Team Basel. But they've seen a lot of that in the challenges that they faced abroad, so they know what to expect. But you, you love to see that Team Swiss, the teams we have here in Switzerland, are also bringing that physicality. It's very important. This is one of the most demanding sports physically that you could play. It's nonstop action, except when you get a timeout or a dead ball, and that shot clock doesn't remain, I say, unticked for too long. Coastics. Little Will and Dillon there, nice pick pass down out to the big fella. Schomer who finishes with the left. Beautiful play right there between those two. Jurkovic looking for something. He tacks the lane, he draws the foul. <laughs> Team Basel not happy with the refs calling. But I doubt that changes anything. He'll be headed to the line shooting a free throw for Thomas. We'll make that two free throws as Team Basel is in the penalty. He misses on the first. Opportunity to connect on the second one. Two minutes and seven seconds left. He misses both. But offensive rebound by big brother Nathan. He throws it off. I thought that was gonna bring down the house, but he just lays it in, conserving energy, trying to get to that finals. Outside, Nathan kicks it out to Duke. He gets the easy rebound. Another point at it, 17 to seven. Dylan gets him in the air. Gets the foul called as well. Thomas checking in. Might have caught an elbow to the to the face. Seems to be doing okay, hopefully. As the game resumes, one minute and 30 seconds left in this ball game almost. 16 foul for Team Freeberg. See if they can get some easy ones, maybe draw a foul here. Dylan pulls up for two. Short rims it. Dubas looked like he was going to go in for the dunk. Dukovic misses it. Pulls out to the air up there. Eight seconds on the shot clock. A lot of time there. Kicks it back to Dubas. Easy basket there. 18 to 7 is your score. One minute and three seconds left. Not too much time for Team Basel to fight way, their way back into this, but... They definitely made it shown that a lot of heart. You gotta appreciate their effort in this ball game. They go down, they go down fighting. I love it. Nice move there by Shoma. He draws the foul. You can hear the fans getting into it. You gotta love it. Everybody, you can see everyone's engaged into this game. And Team Basel got their fans here, so they're not having it. Don Schoma. Young star for Team Basel, 5X play. 
Missed the free throw there. Well, has an opportunity on the second one. He connects on that, cuts that lead to 10, but we're down to 46 seconds in this ball game. As Thomas laces up one. Nice move again by Koshis. Just comes up short. Go to it for the win. Down it, baby. All nets. No fanfare, baby. 22 to 8. Here's your score. Got nine minutes to the next ball game, so stay tuned in for some highlights. It's a good action coming up with Team Design. Taking on Team Montreux. Your host, D. Lang, here. We're in the Zurich main train station and a lot of action and beautiful basketball. Stay tuned in. We'll be right back with you.
Welcome back, Swiss basketball fans. We're here at the final game of the semifinal matchups between the Zahn Sport 3x3 and Team Montreux. One of these teams will punch their ticket into the finals with a face off against Team Freeburg 3x3. This is the matchup we've been waiting for as well. We saw in the first phase of tour, the, the stage one of tour, uh, Swiss tour, Team Montreux and Lausanne Sport 3x3 went head to head and Team Montreux was able to pull away the victory. So this is, uh, how you say, like deja vu. These two going at it again for the opportunity to win the grand finale. Let's see which one of these teams will pull it off. Both teams have a lot of respect for one another. A lot of experience playing abroad as well. We've seen both teams for example, we had Team Montreal. They were able to go to Monaco as well, compete uh, this year. They went to Paris in the real deal, four plus one. They did a great job down there as well. And they also were in uh, Dusseldorf, Germany this year. So they well-traveled, well-experienced team. They have on, on point. And they were able to also win the Red Bull Challenge, the Swiss Challenge, and uh, qualify as champions to to go to the next uh, finale, grand finale. So great job by them. Um, they'll be facing off Lausanne Sport 3x3, who's been the powerhouse for the last few years, but Team Freeberg and teams like Team Montreux has made their appearance and let their presence be known. Lausanne Sport 3x3 looking for something. Oh, Barry Dow off the glass and spinning fadeaway. He's a crafty shooter. I love to watch him go at it against these guys. He'll get a shot off in many different ways. Up top, G. Kashama. Trying to find something against Barry Dow. Can't use the strength. You know Martinez with a long range two pointer couldn't get it to go, but it's rebounded right there by Pedro. Jill using on the burners, puts it on out to King West. King West looking for something, no good. Steal by Pedro. Obviously, these guys have been watching one another. Good body position by Gino Martinez and misses that one. That one gonna come back and on him later in the game. I'm sure he's gonna be mad about it as Verydell lines one up against Pessoa. One to one here in this matchup of heavyweights. Both teams come out swinging. Now I've been seeing that Jules Martin's been a little quiet. 
So far, I expect him to put on the show these last few games. He's been saving energy. I, I know what he's been doing. <laughs> And when he puts on the show, it's nothing more electrifying than what he does as a guard. I call him the maestro. Two to one is your score with a nice flip floater by Marco Lehman. A little miscommunication leads to an easy layoff for Team Design Sport 3x3. And another costly turnover, which Team Montreal cannot be having. There he goes. Uh. Couldn't get it to far, Michael Lemon. Nice tip there by West. G. Kashama blocked by King West up top. Foul is called. Smart foul there by Pedro Pessoa, trying to eliminate the easy opportunity for Marco Lehman that time. Gill lines up a two. Good hustle there by Verydell. Looking for some contact foul. Nope. Pedro leaves it short. Follows up. Easy layup. He smokes it. He can't believe it either. Best believe Zahn is going to make him pay for it. Another smoke layup. But that only part by Zahn Sport 3x2. As Tituan get an easy layup. Back and forth we go. Score four to four. Make that five four as Marco Lehman is able to connect. Love the physicality being played here. Team foul. Great job. Both teams going at it. Five to four advantage. Team Lazan. Six minutes and 43 seconds left. Quick shout out to our sponsors, New Ball Unity 3X3, Plasma Communications, Fisher Ball by Wilson. A lot of great things going on here at this Swiss Tour. You can see a lot of talent. Teams going at it, competing at maximum will. But obviously there only can be one player that or one team that advances to the final matchup, which is set with a date with Team Freeberg. High pick action. Ready to go. Chikishama off to Tituan. Good action there. Three seconds on the shot clock. He knows gonna have to get it off. He steps back, pulls up. Almost got that to fall. Good action there. with the drive. He gets fouled by Very Dow. So he'll be headed to the line shooting one. Definitely a foul on that right arm. No disputing that, guys. Good shot there. Oh, nice move there. Just couldn't handle it. Looking for the bounce pass, so he'd be a better control on that pass. Five to five is our score. Left hand, Pedro attacks the basket. He comes up short. Good defense there by Marco Lehman. King West. No good as well. G clears it. Tax it, but not today in West House, baby. He gets a block every game. Good touch pass there by Lehman. No good on Martin's part. Good action again. Can see that block. Not today in this house, baby. Another quick timeout here. Give a shout out also to our other sponsors. Already Sports Branding Agency. 
We got Energy Milk. And also the big guy over there, the Red Bull, who also hosted the official booth for the DJ. This has been live, and you can see the fanfare is, is live and energetic here. Expected to get even more heated up as these minutes get down to clutch time. Up top, Christopher Veridell with the ball. That'll be a team foul against Team Montreal. That's only the second one, so not a big deal so far. Nice design play. Design looking for something. Oh, nice pass there by Barry Dow. Some way finds his way back out to Martin. No good. Inside, you know Martinez, he flips in one. In traffic, heavily guarded by, oh, easy layup by Barry Dow as he splits two defenders. Six to six, ball game is heated. Back and forth we go. You see right there before as Barry Dow gets the easy one. Not gonna find too many of those in this ball game. That one right there, for example, Pedro Pessoa missed earlier. An easy day up to 10. That's going to come back and haunt him. I'm sure of it. Especially against an experienced team like Team Design. That's Marco Lehman. The next on a fadeaway, tough mid range jumper. We saw Titoine Vanet come up big time against Lausanne Sport 3x3 in stage one. He's going to have to show a little bit more of that. Ferdell gets his man to fall, but couldn't finish the layup. But draws the foul in the second attempt. Team is on sport, talking it over. Setting out the next design strategy. Nice shot by Veridal. Chi Kashama, one on one with the big fella, King West. Chi looking for the foul. Not going to get it. But what you will get is two points by Veridal. Montreux is setting up their play. Emotions and energy is getting high. We're almost approaching the four minute mark. This is a heated rematch of Titans, baby, going at it. Oh, nice look there by Pedro to Gino Martinez behind the back pass. Gets an easy one. Ferdell, one on one. Spins. Ah, couldn't get that one to fall. You know, with a quick two-pointer, no good. You know, Martinez attacks the basket. He's foul. Ref's not having it. Timeout as Martin tries to dispute what is going on on the floor. Ref's not having it at all. Team Montreal is definitely in, I say, reaching arms of this lead. They're only down 10 to 7. This possession is going to count big time for them. They're going to have to get something. As mentioned before, that possession where Pessoa had an opportunity to make that easy layup, he missed it. So they're down three instead of two. But you can say that about a lot of situations. So we see how that comes to play in the last minute of play. When game is tight and on the line. Up top. Everything situated. Detoine looking for some. Eight seconds. A lot of time. 
She's hustling for it. Couldn't come up with it. Good action from both teams. Physicality. Back at it. It's Christopher Veradell. Takes a tough ball. It's tough as nails, that young man. Up top, here we go. Oh, nice pass there. They're on the board once again, 11 to 7. Play the way, Tituan. Oh, no good. That's probably going to be an offensive foul. Team fouls apart, four to four. 11 to seven, only a four point difference here. Opportunity for Team Mazan to, to widen that gap as Veridell pulls up from two deep, baby. Nice shot. 13 to 7 is your score. Three possession ball game here. 14 is on. It's very Dallas says, hand down, man down, baby. You don't respect my J? I just won a two point shootout. How can you not respect the man's J? A little overpassing on that possession. That's very rare. You're seeing King West go to the ref and say, I touched it last, when the ball could have stayed in possession for Team Lazant. That's what I call sportsmanship and fair play, baby. Foul there as Chika Sharma will be headed to the line once again. He misses another free throw. Needs all those baskets he can get to count for him. Two minutes and 18 seconds, he's running out of time. So he can't be missing those freebies, young man. Wester up top, two seconds, had to shoot it. Looking for the foul, did not get it. Wester with the block. Static about the foul. And the fans as well are booing right now, so it, they're not excited about that. They think that was a clear block. Let's check it out on the replay. The replay doesn't lie, does it? That was a nice up challenge by King West. Himself. But you got to respect the call at the end of the day and move on forward because you can't change it at all. You know, Martinez connects. Actually, Team Lazan Sport is in the penalty. So that's a big turnaround for Vince for Team Lazan. Only up four now. Gil Martinez misfires on that. It's not usually the Gil Martinez I'm accustomed to seeing. All these players have their working life as well, most of them. So they stay pretty busy unless they're only playing for the pro team. So. That's a lot to take on and still play this game at a high level. A lot of respect to those guys. As Chika Shama comes up short. One minute and 44 seconds left in this ball game. They're only down two possessions, but Lazan Sport 3x3 is gonna try to have an answer for that. It's Christopher Veridell lines up a two in your face, baby. Right back at you. 
says the young fella. We can go back at it. Back and forth. Beautiful shot there by Christopher Veridal, as you can see in the replay. And he's been answered by the young fella, Titoin. Back and forth once again. Looking for an answer here. Five seconds. Veridal finds an open layman. He connects with two. Zurich style. Talking smack as well. You know, looking for the flip. No good. Nice give and go action there. Just miss out just a little bit. Oh, nice no look pass by King West. Good finish there by Chi Kashama. I guess a very high flying Wester there. He's able to get it. Nice play right there. Ball will be in possession, I believe, of Team Montreux after this timeout. I think Lausanne Sport 3x3 is taking a timeout. Only 42.5 seconds left. We watch on some replays there. Chika Shaman with the up and under, protecting himself against the big shot blocker, King West. This game is definitely. I would say in reach for Team Montreux, they have possession of the basketball, but they're going to need one quick shot to fall for them. Preferably a two-pointer to cut it to three points. If not, you can expect Team Lausanne Sport to melt down that clock as much as possible. Here we go. Up top, Gino Martins pushed back, couldn't get any space greatly in. Ended by Marco Lehman. Oh, what a shot by Titoin. He gets the answer they were looking for. Cuts it down to three. 28.5 seconds left in this ball game. 12 seconds with the shot clock. Full shot clock for Lausanne Sport. They're down three. Nice lob there. Marco Lehman. 18 to 14. That's going to be two fouls. No, two shots, I mean. On the floor, it doesn't matter if it's on the, the foul was not called in the act of shooting. That's still going to be a foul with Pedro headed to the line. 17.3 seconds left. Opportunity to cut it to two. They can get one more stop in the prayer at the two-point line. They might can send this thing into prolongation. He connects on the first. 15 to 18. Going to need to score on this one as well. And they're going to need to stop. 16 to 18. Side King West trying to run down the clock. Barry Dell trying to get one going. He's going. And the basket will not count. But he will be headed to the line shooting two. All teams a little bit overexcited, looking for the travel was Team Montreal, but they came out with a foul. Christopher Veridell at the line with opportunity to widen that gap with eight seconds. He nails the first one. More money, more money, baby. This could be the icing on the cake. He delivers 20 to 16. Favorable fashion. We see Team Design Sport come back in fashion and take down Team Montreux and upset them in stage one. What a ball game. 20 to 16. We got our finals matchup. We'll be waiting for two heavy hitters. Ladon Sport 3x3 will take on Freeburg 3x3 in our championship round at 6.30. Stay tuned in. A little downtime. We'll be right back with you. Let's get your interview with one of the, the players from Ladon Sport 3x3.
basketball fans, I'm here with the man himself, King West. Want to talk about a little bit, you know, how difficult this might be for you this year because you're taking on a new role as uh, the main man controlling FIBA 3x3 basketball, Swiss basketball 3x3. How, how much challenging that has been for you to also come out here and compete as well? I mean, it's, it's very hard because, uh, like, the same period where I have the season is also when we have the competition with the national team. So we have U17, boys and girls, U21, U23, seniors. That's a lot. We need to, to practice, prepare, and uh, also to work for the future. So to, to start bringing the people to the new gym in, in Lausanne, in Beaulieu, is working very well because a lot of people are asking now when we're going to have some tournaments, something, something else, can I help in some way? So this is good, yeah, but it takes time. You've done a great job of balancing it out. I know it can be tough. I mean, so what's the next steps for you? You know, playing as a player, this has to be challenging. Are you tired in, at all? I mean, tired not because I'm a type of player that, that I always play with motivation, like the, the energy. But uh, I got to admit that sometimes, like with the head, it's difficult to go back, uh, jumping from one spot to the other one, like from working and, uh, and playing. But it's challenging, and I like when something is challenging. Maybe it's better if, if, the, if it was too, too easy, probably I would be tired because it's, it's a long time now. Last question. You have been known as one of the powerhouses here, the Zon Sport 3x3. You have a new challenge with Freeburg 3x3. This is the matchup I believe everybody's been waiting for. What can we expect from Lazan Sport 3x3? I mean, uh, we always giving our best. We, as I said before, we are not only focused on, on the, our playing, but also everything around it. We are creating a community with a gym now, trying to, to promote, to make a lot of events, and sometimes we don't have enough time to practice, to do so. It's challenging. So I think it's, it's going to take like maybe one, two years to go back, and once everything is set, to, to focus 100% on playing. But I think we are doing well anyway. You guys are doing an excellent job. I would say it myself here. So we want to thank you, King West, for all the jobs you're doing so far. It's excellent, and we can see how it's growing the sport here. So thank you again. Twist Basketball, King West. Thank you. Bye-bye.
Swiss basketball fans, this is what we've been waiting for. The grand finale here at Zurich main train station of the 3x3 Swiss Tour. Two of the top two teams here on the tour are facing off. It's going to be a war, baby. You can expect every player here to leave it on the line. A lot of excitement, a lot of energy, a lot of emotions. This is what it's all about. Obviously, there's a grand prize at the end for the winner. Money prize will be handed out later. But also, these two teams will qualify for the Masters, the FIBA 3x3 Masters, which will take place in the Brecken in Hungary in September. So this is a great opportunity for both teams to continue to gain international exposure and also to compete in money prize tournaments. So far, Team Freeburg has been undefeated in the Swiss Tour. They're looking to remain in that form. Let's see if Lausanne Sport 3x3 is able to knock them off their pedestal. Who knows what is possible? But I'll tell you one thing, this is going to be a great game. It always is when these two come up against one another. Obviously, uh, Freeburg 3x3 has the size advantage, strength. A lot of pro players on their team, but uh, Zahn, a lot of experience as far as moving the ball. They are one of the best teams to ever do it. Got the great shooter, Christopher Veridal. He has to show up. I believe he's the different, I would say, the X factor. If he scores six to eight points, Team Lazan definitely has a chance to win the ball game. But Team Lazan has always put Nathan, one of the best defenders, on him because they don't want to get him going. 
If they can keep him at a standstill, they might come out victorious. Great strategy from their part. Nate goes inside, trying to take advantage of the height. Gets it going. 1-0 just like that for Team Freebird. They're definitely going to be able to move their point spreads up higher far as the rankings when they ever compete in the Masters. That you can follow on FIBA 3x3 once one of the teams start to qualify for those tournaments. There's the big fella. Easy work for him. The air up there. We got a fanfare to event here. It's pretty much packed as you can look all around here. The stage, well, I would say I call it a little stadium here in the Hoppin' Hall. Because it's definitely a good event here. Crowd loving that block by Nathan. Zurukovic, but refs call that offensive interference. So count the basket for Team Lazan. Went around asking fans who they think would win. A lot of them said Lazan Sport 3x3. Then you have those who say Freebird. So this is going to be interesting, but you can see the, the crowd is cheering for both. You got to love, they're just energized about the sport itself. Had a great opportunity to have an interview with Western Motini. I don't think many understand how difficult his role is being. He's a player and also a developer for the program of 3x3. So he has his hands full, a lot of work, supporting the national teams and things like that. As we see Christopher Verydell on cue, knocks down a two-pointer. Two tangled up. Players down low, Barry Dell and Dubas going at it. Up top, Djurkovic, six seconds on the shot clock. He's going to have to get something done quickly. He gets the offensive rebound to the air up there. Uh, he's going to bring it back down here, though. That big fella, you don't want to be under the rim when he gets in that area. Power dunk by the big fella, Arnold Couture. We caught him there up there. He stays up there a lot. There's not one match I haven't seen him get a dunk within this Swiss tour that he's been a part of. Christopher Verydell, nice move there. What great recovery by Nathan. Pump fake and pump fake and a goal. Good follow there by Verydell. He's got three points. He's answering the call today. I love it. Thomas with an easy bucket. And the steal. Cookie Monster, we're going to call him right now. Just took Marco's cookies right from him with no remorse. Inside, big fellas going at it. Great block there by King West. Inside, the Maestro gets the flip. No good. He turned on the Jets there, but just couldn't get the fall. Chris Rivera, ISO. I'm going to pull up in your face. Yes, sir. He's got five. That's a great sign for Team Lazan because he had not showed up in those first meetings against Team Freeberg, so he already has five. That is very good vital signs that Team Lazan has a chance to win this game. Because if he has five quick ones, he can definitely get you four more points easy. Let's see if we continue that as he takes a quick breather. Layman outstretched. He draws the foul. Up top to the Maestro Gilles Mark. He's been quiet. The guys are trying to learn how to defend him. 
Take his speed away, spacing. But he's still dandy and creative. Nice give and go touch. Silly foul there, I would say. Shot clock was winding down. We're going to go to TV timeout. Very soon here. As is six to five. Team Lazan Sport 3x3 trying to take down and reclaim their throne against the heavyweights. Freeburg 3x3, composed of a lot of international talent. These guys play most of their squad on the high level Euro competition. Representing Freeburg Olympic, two of those players on the floor were on that team per se. Nathan Jurgovic, Arnold Couture, got the younger brother Thomas of Nathan who plays for Geneva Lions and Dubas playing for Veve. Basket, all teams in the LNA. They're the only team on, I would say in this roster, that holds four players who play LNA. You have only one player. Look at Jill's put on the show. He couldn't get the fall, but he did weave and bobble and put on the show for the crowd that they kind of love and put on the entertainment value that we can appreciate. Up top, big Dubas inside to Nathan. Easy basket for him. Size mismatch against Christopher. Foul call, that's team number, foul number four for Freebird. Lazan only has two. That can come in the favor of the team Lazan as we start wrapping things up, especially if they foul Marco Lehman and Christopher Veridell. Oh, what a shot by Lehman. He needed that one to fall. That's a really good sign when both of their two shooters are scoring basket because it's been mainly West and Jill's Martin covering the load against this powerhouse team against their earlier matchup. Nathan wide open for two, no good. Eight to eight is our score. That's a powerhouse dunk. Whoa, what a block by West. Not today, are up there. King West with the challenge. Good action here, baby. Going back and forth. Jorkovich with the Euro. Easy layup there. Stops the defensive pass right there. Good action here in this grand finale. West challenges the air up there. Mr. Arnold Couture himself. Fans are enthralled and entertained. Great action, great defense there. On that pick and roll by Thomas. Get to the side to Dubas. Crowd ain't liking it. You can hear the noise, hear the whistle. <laughs> this is great. How the fans so in tune into this game. They're connected. Couture trying to put on the wheels and deals. Down low, Marco Lehman is able to minimize him. His size. Arnold Couture in disbelief with the refs. Calling here. Up top, Christopher Verydale. Uh, crowd looking for ooh and an eye, wanting that to go. Well, there's Martin putting on his display again. Just missed fire on that pass. Crowd is loving Jill's Martin. His acrobatic phenomenal that he's putting on, dribbling display. You can see that replay just missed time that passing to get it to go with his teammate. Freeberg's making them pay for those turnovers. 10 to 8 is the score. What a move by Lehman. I think that it might have been a little bit of. Disturbance on the rim, but 
might have been missed there. The layman's layback layup there that was attempted. Up top, Thomas guarded heavily by Verydell. Turnover. Lost his footing, just had to pass it. Up top. Duck that West. He'll draw the foul. He'll be headed to the line. Clearly, that was a foul. Great call by the refs. I think the guys are really a bit emotional, which is normal when you're in a competitive spirit. This is coming down to the wire. Ten to nine. Nathan one on one gets his former teammate. Flicks it in with an easy finger roll. Good backdoor action there. Very Dow is stopped in his tracks. Makes a tough, tough shot over an outstretched couture. Nice shot there as well by Dubas. Tough. Oh, he can't leave very down. Oh, nice fake there. Can he answer? Oh, yeah. Money time, baby. 12 to 12. Crowd is into it. Both teams are going back and forth. We give the crowd what they wanted, baby. The grand finale here in Zurich. Main train station. The Swiss basketball 3x3 Swiss tour. The 2022 did not lay, baby. Quick time out here. Quick shout out to our sponsors. Official partner, New Ball Unity 3x3. It's putting on, incorporating to put on a spectacular event here. We're in Zurich hopping off. This is beautiful, baby. Got Red Bull in the background. They've been energizing the guys throughout their competitive games. We're getting down to the last three minutes and 40 seconds of ball play here. Very Dow has been putting on the show. He's reached his mark. He scored seven. So they definitely have an opportunity to win this game. Somebody has to show up. He's done his part. Both teams are getting wired up right now. This game becomes more physical and physical. Zon Sport is in the hunch. Great defensive effort by West. Right there, he gets the block. Just dominated that ball. Great action right there. Marco might have missed the bunny there. Live action, baby. Three minutes, 11 seconds. Thomas gets Verdell to fall down. Team Verbrook can't answer it. Good defense, tough shot there. Clear it. Oh, big shot there by Very Dow. Could have gave Team Lazana Sport 3x3 the lead there. An advantage of one if he would have nailed that two pointer. That was a great shot, great look. Just came up short. Thomas pump fakes, drives, bodies, Jills gets the easy layup. Let's see if Jills can get him back. He squares him up. 
One-on-one -on -one crossover, nice dime pass. Oh, very well smokes the layup. That is not what you want to do in this moment. But Team Azan, they come up with a fortunate event as Freeberg turns over the ball. Marco Lehman, defended well by Thomas, comes up with the steal. Jurkovic attacks the rim, couldn't get it. There's the air up there. Offensive rebound, he puts it in. These guys are getting at it. You gotta love the energy right now. See the competitive spirit here. Are you not entertained? I am. These guys are battling. Two minutes and seven seconds left in the ball game. Very Dell off to Marco Lehman. The quick sniper pulls up. Couldn't get it to fall. If that's two fouls, that's going to be a trip to the line for Nathan Drukovic. Opportunity to widen that gap. Front rim's the first one. Giving a little bit more breathing life to Team Lazan. 11. Lefty misses both of them. Body's flying everywhere right now. Big shot right there by Barry Dell. Marco's able to clean it up. He's outmatched down below. Quickly, Team Freeberg takes advantage. And that will be a costly turnover. A team Lazan. Sport 3x3 right there. They're talking over strategy right now. This is crunch time. One minute and 36 seconds left. Still a lot of opportunity if they can get one of their sharpshooters and nail one from downtown. But they're first of all, they need to stop here. Not just one. They need about four or five consecutive stops. And then an opportunity to put one in the basket. Well, if anyone can do it, you have two snipers there. Barry Dow and Marco Lehman. They will have their opportunity. They go with a small lineup right now. Let's see if this comes in their favor or not. Or will Team Freeberg take advantage of that? Kicks out to Thomas. He pulls up for two. Oh, in and out. That's the shot that Team Design wanted as Jill steps out. Not happy with that call. Trying to get that possession back. Oh, nice up and under by the big fella Dubas. He connects. West comes right back at it. Gets it into the big fella Nathan. Wide open Thomas once again. He front rims that, but there's Nathan with the follow and he's fouled. And he's headed right back to the line. Great sequence of actions right there for Team Freeburg. Nathan follows up the offensive rebound and draws the foul from behind. He's pumped up about it. Chance to move that lead to five points. Misses the first one. Needs to make this one to make it a three possession ball game. Give his team a little cushion. Tough shot by Barry Dell. Thomas was all in his face. Nathan comes up with a crucial rebound. That's going to be the 19th foul after this foul. 
which we imagine will happen again. Team Freeburg will shoot two shots and have possession of the basketball as well. Good shot, looking shot there by Nathan Drewickridge. He's trying to put the icing on the cake. He has the opportunity to knock this down. 21 to 14 is your game. And that is a wrap, ladies and gentlemen, here. Great game between those powerhouse teams. Gave the fans what they were looking for. Nothing but love and energy and respect for what happened and transpired today. I fence these two Goliath teams. Great action here. Team Freeberg showed their dominance throughout this tour. They remain undefeated. How amazing is that? They went 20 and 0 in this stage of the Swiss Tour. What an amazing job to come on the scene with true dominance. You gotta love it. Yep. Well, we want to do one more interview with one of the champions, sir. If you don't mind, we want to do one. All right. Great action here. We got the president of Swiss basketball, Sergi Giancarlo, in the building. He will be displaying MVP trophies to one of the best players here today. A lot of celebration here. A lot of ending. You can say what a great job. This is Sergi Giancarlo. President of Swiss basketball has done for the visibility of the sport. He continue to work with his team. Here we are with our MVP of today, Nathan Jurukovic, the Mr. International himself. He's with the president, Sergi Giancarlo. It doesn't get more better than this as he hands over the Tissot watch. The main player.
can see a great job. Team Freeberg celebrating their magnificent win here. That's going to be a closure here. The Swiss 3x3 tour here in Zurich, Hoppenhof. What a great job here today. I want to give a great shout out to the Swiss basketball team. I'm your host, D Lang. Thank you to New Ball Unity 3x3, Red Bull. All our sponsors here today. Official basketball claimed by Wilson. As you can see, the prize here of 6,000 rewarded to Team Freeberg. They've done an extra job. We're going to have a few more interviews and we're going to close out the day. This is a wrap for 2022. Swiss basketball, thank you very much for making this possible and all the athletes that came out, all the staff, and all the people who worked hard to make this event possible. Without you, it would not be possible. Thank you, everyone. We're going to close it out. We're here, Swiss basketball fans, with the sharpshooter himself, Christopher Veridal. You show the uh, community of Swiss that you're the best shooter within the tour. Uh, tell us about your little bit of experience, your first time playing the Swiss tour here. All right, it's the second time I was here last year, my man. But this seems like your first time in the finals. It is the first time in the finals, thank you. No, it's a great atmosphere, and uh, it's a really nice organization from Swiss basketball. And uh, oh, oui, j'ai oublié, j'ai oublié, <laughs> excusez-moi. Non, c'est une super atmosphère d'être ici à HB, à Zurich. Uh, sans les mesures Covid qu'on a eu l'année dernière, ça fait vraiment du bien de, de retrouver les gens près du terrain uh, qui sont contents d'être là, qui sont contents de faire du bruit quand il y a, y a une, une bonne action qui se passe. Donc, uh, crédit à Swiss Basket pour uh, l'organisation de cet événement. And for you, the experience has been, uh, has it been overwhelming with all the other work that you have going on? Ah, ouais, pour ceux qui ne savent pas, j'ai sorti mon premier livre hier. Donc, on était en train de le vendre uh, sur, le, sur le côté là dans les coulisses. Et c'était super de voir le support de la communauté du basket suisse. Parce qu'on a pu vendre quelques livres, on a pu uh, échanger à propos de différents sujets uh, à travers le basket. 
Et donc, euh, encore une fois, merci à Suisse Basket pour nous laisser faire la pub du livre. Et puis, euh, puis j'espère être là à d'autres événements pour vendre le livre. <laughs> this has been a, a great matchup between Lausanne Sport 3x3. You're the most of the most two powerhouse teams here. How is that challenging being for you against Freeburg 3x3? Pour moi, c'est un <laughs> pour moi c'est un super challenge parce que les gars de Fribourg sont tous des, des vrais pros qui ont fait ça depuis plusieurs années, qui sont confirmés en Suisse, qui ont joué internationalement. Donc euh, c'est cool pour moi personnellement de pouvoir rejouer à ce niveau après 5 ou 6 ans avec des blessures euh, sans jouer au basket. Euh, donc ça fait vraiment plaisir. Après c'est vrai que c'est beaucoup de kilos en plus comparé à nous. Donc ils ont beaucoup de shoots faciles, on a beaucoup de shoots difficiles. Puis à la longue ça, ça devient dur physiquement. Donc ils ont réussi à, à prendre les victoires chaque fois cette année de très peu. Mais peut-être pas l'année prochaine. <rire> Okay, so you heard it first here that Christopher Verdow is confirming he will be here next year. You want to give one more last word uh, to the fans that supported you this year and also to show the book that you're promoting as well? Hey, c'est super sympa. Oh, excusez-moi pour la voix. Donc voilà le livre, il est sur Amazon, il est encore gratuit en e-book pendant à peu près 12 heures. Demain, il sera, uh, il sera available en paperback ou bien en e-book et bientôt en audiobook dans 2-3 semaines. Donc voilà, achetez-le, c'est dirigé à la jeune génération pour les aider à être plus consistants dans leur travail, gagner de la discipline, et il y a plein d'histoires de joueurs professionnels comme toi, comme moi, des anciens gars, des nouveaux gars, donc c'est super. Well, thank you Christopher Barry Dow, it's been an excellent, uh, I would say, tour to watch you play, as being the sniper you are, to promote basketball, you're doing an excellent job, and we'll continue to wait, watch and wait till you do the great things in the near future. Merci, merci, merci. Thank you. very loud, Swiss basketball fans. All right, Swiss basketball fans, we're hit the man himself, Mr. Nathan Jurukovic. Time and time again, you showed dominance throughout this tour. Tell everybody how has this been for you so far. Well, c'est c'est vraiment incroyable. On est on est champion suisse après notre notre première année. C'est vrai qu'on a vraiment euh, on a vraiment imposé notre style de jeu à ce tournoi. On a été dominant euh, dans la raquette. On a cherché les fautes, cherché les points faciles et voilà, on on a gagné. C'est 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 la preuve que notre travail il, il est il est bien. Uh, how difficult was you, as this is your first year with a whole new complete team organizing and, and uh, getting things arranged to go to different countries? How challenging was that for you guys? C'était ouais, c'était un, un tout nouveau style pour nous. C'est on passe du, du 5-5 au 3-3. Je suis le seul qui a vraiment fait du 3-3 dans l'équipe. Donc voilà, heureusement, on est on est une bande de potes. C'est ce qui est le plus important. On se permet de faire des erreurs. On on s'engueule jamais. Et on est aussi beaucoup aidé. On est beaucoup aidé par des par des gens externes qui ont l'expérience, qui ont des contacts, tout ça. Donc euh, voilà, c'est tout ça, c'est un tout qui fait que notre équipe elle, est, elle a autant de succès actuellement. You guys have done a magnificent job this year and also abroad. What are the goals? Are we looking at Olympic 2024? Or what are we looking at here? L'objectif, on va pas se cacher. L'objectif, c'est les Jeux Olympiques à Paris en 2024. Voilà, on a fait un, un début, je dirais Tony Truant. C'est vraiment au-delà de nos de nos expériences en début de saison. Yeah! Euh... That's the best player in the world right there. That's the best. The world. Et euh, mais voilà, comme je disais, l'objectif, on va pas se le cacher, c'est les Jeux Olympiques à Paris. Well, thank you very much. It's been a great honor to watch you play and do the things you've done. We call you Mr. International, Swiss Khalifa on the FIBA 3X scene. You guys are headed off to uh, the Masters play now. What can we expect from that? Comme, comme d'hab, on va se donner à fond, on va, on va mettre des coups, on va recevoir des coups, on va jouer dedans et on va essayer d'en sortir avec la victoire. On sait très bien qu'on a battu déjà presque toutes les équipes du top 10 mondial. Donc voilà, on va pas se le cacher, on va là-bas pour, pour accrocher un bon résultat, pour, pour gagner. Any last words you want to say to the fans and everyone that supported you guys throughout this tour and your continued journey through the Masters? Vraiment, un grand merci à tout le monde. 
on sent, on sent vraiment tout l'amour que vous nous donnez sur Instagram, même là on est à Zurich, c'était plein à chaque fois. Les gens ils nous couraient après, on a donné des casquettes, on a tout donné, non c'est vraiment que de, que de l'amour et merci beaucoup Swiss Basket. Merci Swiss Basketball fans, we're here him with the man himself, Nathan Djurkovic, Mr. International, MVP of the Swiss Tour. God, thank you all for supporting this magnificent job and we'll be back with you guys next year. I'm D. Lang, I'm your host and we'll be back 2023 with the same tour. Stay tuned in. Have a nice evening. Thanks, Nate. Appreciate it, baby.